our topic is the earth and the solar system okay we will discuss about the earth where we are living and the solar system so uh, first we will see that what are celestial bodies or the heavenly bodies the celestial bodies or the heavenly bodies are those things which we can see in the sky especially uh, the stars planets comets meteors asteroids etc these are called celestial bodies or heavenly bodies now the question is from where they have come how did they form okay we will see first how uh, was the universe formed so we have to go back near about 15 billion years ago so where uh, where uh, when the universe was formed so there was a uh, at that time there was a very big explosion okay um, so that explosion is known as big bang that due to this explosion atoms and later first atoms and later molecules they were formed these molecules came together and form gi- giant type of clouds of gases and dust particles okay these dust gases and dust particles they are called nebulae each nebula has its own gravitational force okay and a spinning motion within the nebula the atoms were attracted to one another and in this process okay they collided with each other and that time they had a tremendous speed this speed gave out an enormous amount of heat okay with this heat the stars and the other celestial bodies or the glowing bodies they were formed out of this nebula and we all know that sun is a star at that time only sun had also taken birth okay now the celestial bodies they produce their own heat the celestial bodies those who are produce their own heat and light they are called stars okay and each star has a huge mass of hot gases they appear as very tiny objects in the sky because why it is so because they are far away from us stars uh, we always see the stars are twinkling why because the light emit by the light that they emit comes down to us through different layers of air that's why while crossing the layer of air the wave creates a twinkling uh, twinkling situation okay that's why the we can see the stars as a, as twinkling objects now millions of stars they form a galaxy okay several million galaxies make up the universe in universe there we can see millions of galaxies the universe still now it is expanding and new new stars are being born the galaxy to which our solar system belong to that the name of that galaxy is milky way or akashganga on a clear night we can see this uh, akashganga it appears just like a faint band of light across the sky okay. now stars uh, we have seen that what are stars now what are constellations constellations is a cluster of stars or, a, or we can see we can say a group of stars so we measure the distance between stars in light years 
a light year is the distance that light traveling at a speed of 3 lakhs kilometer per second covers in a year that is called light year so uh, as we know that sun is a star now it is a mil uh, it is one of the million stars of in the universe and sun, sun is very near to the earth than any other star it looks very big very bright just like a ball of fire that is sun and if we look at the night sky we can see clusters of stars or the group of stars this group of stars are called constellations astronomers they have joined this group of stars in different forms and one of these constellations is the Ursa Major or Great Bear, which can be easily recognized in the northern sky. We can see this Ursa Major or the Great Bear in the northern sky. Uh, it is also called Shaktorshi in India. The seven stars in this constellation form the shape of a big spoon or the shape of the note of interrogation. The two stars at the end of this constellation are called pointers. Okay. At the end of Shaktorshi, we can see these two, uh, the two stars which are called pointers. They always point towards the north, these two pointers. They are, uh, this, the brightest star in the sky is the pole star or the north star which we can see always at the north part of the sky northern side of the sky it appears to remain in the same position in the sky and all other stars and constellations seem to revolve around it okay the north star is almost directly above the north pole people in the ancient times they uh, it, uh, took help of the North Star. Even nowadays, the sailors, they take help of the North Star to find out their directions. Though they have very modern equipments, then also sometimes they have to take help of this, of this North Star. Okay. Ursa Minor, Orion, Canis Major and Hydra are some other well-known constellations now solar system uh, the sun uh, the sun uh, it, the latin word sol it means sun and thus solar means belonging to the sun